Um, shut up! Oh. <laughs> you recording? Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so, have you just enjoyed a wondrous smoothie or maybe a breakfast drink? Well, your blender could end up looking like this. As you can tell, not too clean. And you wonder, well, I've got to be at work soon. How am I going to have time to clean this? And by the time I'm done at work and come home, it'll all be caked on. And the dishwasher's just not going to cut it, is it? So, how do we clean it, you ask? Well, I have a solution. First, some water. Of course, you can't clean anything without water. So, I recommend uh, filling it to uh, oh, around half to three quarters full, depending on the size of your blender, of course. So we're going to need a fair bit more water in that one. Okay, so we'll get another jug. Wee, go! It all sit. Okay, so here we go, another wall. I'd probably say eh, about there. Perfect. What else do you use when you're cleaning stuff? Well, it's fairly obvious. You need washing up liquid. Of course. I mean, I don't have much time, but uh, that would be considered a good amount. And nothing can be clean without a sponge. Whip scouring pad, of course. Perfect. So we attach the lid, make sure everything is secure, and get the cleaning process. I would recommend the fastest speed possible for your blender. <laughs> I think we may have overfilled this one a little, but um, it's easily remedied, of course. So, have a look at the results. Look at that! It looks rather clean indeed. If we uh, take off the lid, we'll empty the out and maybe give it another flip. Just to be safe. Everything's okay in there. Okay. And as you can see, as it blends the sponge, make sure every little part gets clean. Okay, take two. Okay, and now the uh, cleaning process is done, we once again remove the cup and we empty it into the sink. Of course you need to uh, give it a little bit of a rinse out, just to be safe. Remove any of the larger pieces by hand. And Look at that! Clean indeed. No caked on pieces, no, nothing such. Wonderful. <laughs>